Yo, so iPhone 14 Pro case or no case, I vote no case But I did get a bunch of them to try out and test out to see if they will change my mind Let's unbox it Okay, here we go This is a bunch of cases from Apple Haha, <laughs> cases I love this One, two, three, four, five Okay, I did 17 cases Here we go Okay Ooh, anything else? Nope, all good! We got the clear cases, the leather cases, the silicon case, as well as Autobox cases because they look really good and I've never tried them before, so why not? Let's start with the leather case from Apple. Ooh, that was easy! Honestly, I kind of don't want to put any case on the purple because it's such a beautiful color. But even though I usually go without case, I do know that the back, even though it's ceramic shield and all that beautiful, strong, powerful, protective tech, if you bring it out and you put it in your pocket with keys and all that, it will damage your phone. So that's why I still am always looking for good cases. Wow, wait, this leather case is so lightweight. What color is this? Ink. Okay, so let's try this on. Oof. Oh my god, this is so insanely thin. Damn, wait. Is there no more animation? <gasps> there is the animation! There you go, there you go, there you go. Do you see that? The material feels premium and super lightweight. I am kind of impressed by how well the leather case is because I always assumed leather would be heavier. This is sort of like a dark blue color which I feel like matches the purple very very well. I might consider getting a leather case this year. Let's try the next one. So, umber color. This is a very typical leather finish. <sighs> it smells good. Look at this, MagSafe. And I wonder how the purple would look with the umber color. Ooh, interesting. Oh, and if you look at this closely, the buttons are raised high enough so it's easier to press. I hope it's drop proof. No, it doesn't write that it's drop proof. I do think it doesn't match the purple finish. Yeah, if you have a purple phone, I wouldn't recommend getting the brown. No, not brown. Umber case. I do have friends who have used the Apple leather case for a year or so and have their opinions on it, which I'll share with you really, really soon. Next case we have is called the orange case. Another reason why I'm not really a big fan of leather is because of sustainability. Is this like sustainable leather? We have to do some research on that, don't we? Oh, this is a much brighter orange than what I currently have. So this is the current silicon case that I have for my 13 Pro. I'm not a huge fan of orange, but it looks pretty good. And for people who really like orange, this is a really bright, a very accented orange. Okay, another leather case. All right, this time we have forest green. Ooh, this color is beautiful. Look at this, beautiful. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I, I kind of like this color a lot. Yeah, it really reminds me of the forest. It has a very chill vibe, but also because it's leather, it feels very premium. I definitely feel like I can pull this off. Everything mentioned will be linked below, so if you guys are interested, you can check it out. We're moving on to silicone cases. Light light color, it's sort of like light purple. Oh, this is a different way of opening. <gasps> you have to peel this thing. Why? Why are you on waste paper? Waste paper. Ooh. <gasps> oh my god. This looks so good. Can you see just how beautiful this is? It's like, it's meant to be, you know what I mean? Like this lilac and the purple is like meant to be together. This matches? I love it. Oh my god, what happened? It looks so good. Damn it. I love it. What do you guys think? I think this is the perfect one. I would totally keep this. Like they match so well. I love this color. Okay, we're gonna check out the pink NYX just to see how it matches. Okay, what do we like? This silicon chalk pink or lilac. Let's see how it looks. Ooh. Okay, okay. This needs to be away because I am like biased towards lilac. Um, I mean, they don't look bad together. They don't look bad together. Uh, but nope, nope, nope. I think I'm definitely, I love the lilac better than chalk pink here. If you have a pink phone, this is the perfect case. But if you have the purple phone, 
this is the perfect case. It's a pretty good case, but I do have reservations about silicon cases and I'll tell you guys why later after we've unboxed everything. Oh, we have another leather case. I think this is black, which is also called Midnight. Let's go. This is beautiful. Black is a very easy choice to make. It's simple, modern, minimalist. Okay, what do you guys think? Next, we also have the Midnight Silicon case. So this is leather and this is silicon. You can barely tell the difference. The weight is the same, I feel. If not, the silicon might be slightly heavier. The silicon feels smoother to touch. Put it on. How do we like this? Yes or no? You know what I realized? It's easier to remove the silicon case than the leather case. And this is sun glow. It's such a beautiful color, yellow. This is sort of like a faded yellow. I can see a tint of orange in it, but it's mostly yellow. It's like sunflower. Ooh, look at that beautiful thing. Let me see if I can find a wallpaper that can match this better. <gasps> this looks so good. Okay, honestly, I take everything back as long as your wallpaper's color matches the color of the case, you won't go wrong because you're going to look at this more than you look at this. So initially, I was just worried that the purple would clash with all the colors, but no, I feel like this wallpaper and this case, how well it matches, that matters more. This looks so good. I love it. Okay. Sun Globe, my friends. If you guys are interested, you know where to go. Next, we have Red. This is product Red, and that means that if you buy this case, a portion of the proceeds actually go to AIDS charity, if I'm not wrong. Ooh, smells good. This is a very strong combination, if you look at it. Okay, I'm gonna choose something that matches this more. <gasps> this looks so good. If you can see, the purple is actually very dark, so it goes well with the red, I would say. This this actually looks supremely beautiful. Let me just edit the screen numbers for a second. I'm not gonna just like red. Much better. Do we love this or do we love this? This wallpaper looks so freaking cool with the red. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful case. I love it. Mm. Moving on. Oh my god, we still have like at least like six more cases to go. Succulent green. It's a greenish color. Silicon case. This is a very interesting green. I've not owned this color before. Look at just how well the background matches with the case. It's a bit bluish green, a bit of a grayish tint as well. Do you like this or this forest green? I feel like they're on the same color spectrum, but this is a slightly lighter shade than the forest green, but both look really well together. Moving on, we have Storm Blue. Mm. Okay, maybe this would go well with this. Ooh, beautiful. Goodness gracious, this is beautiful. There is still that grayish tint to it. I feel like this blue and this red matches so well together. And since we've already unboxed so many, I need you guys to tell me which is your favorite because I need your help. I definitely am gonna keep one of these and return the rest because I don't need so many cases. Okay, and this is the clear case. Oh, thing is, the clear case is a very interesting choice because when it was first launched, everyone was like, ew, why would you want to have this little thing here? It's like so disgusting. Why would you like this design? But after a while, as with all Apple devices, the design really stuck and I really like it. Beautiful, it's like a little white transparent thing. It is quite protective except for the bottom. This is exposed. If you see all the other cases here, everything is protected pretty well. But with the transparent case, this part is exposed. And the reason being is that it's much easier to remove, especially with uh, plastic cases like this. I am not sure if this will actually yellow over time because that's the problem with most of these kind of transparent cases. And I hate it when they yellow. Kind of feel like with Apple products, it shouldn't yellow. But let me know if you've experienced yellowing with this particular case because I really want to keep this. <laughs> yep, okay. 
<laughs> Next, we have on board, this is the silicone case Elderberry. So it's kind of like a purple-ish color, which reminds us of what? This. Lilac. Like, like. Okay. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at this. I love this. Oh, okay. <laughs> this and this goes very well together. Um, but this is like for happier, lighter days. Um, I feel like this is a case I would pick if it's a very moody day. And if I'm in a lighter mood, I will pick this. Yeah, okay, let's see how it goes. This actually matches the purple so well. Okay, this has a little bit of brownish color, but it's mostly dark purple. I'm not... Okay, that's the thing. It matches the purple really well, but I'm not a fan of this color somehow. Just the shade just throws me off a little bit. I kind of still prefer this color to this dark purple. It could be because this has sort of like a contrast, a lighter contrast with the dark color of the phone. I don't know what you guys think. This shade of purple just isn't my favorite, but it blends really well with the purple iPhone. Yep. So not a huge fan of this. What? Burberry? Nope. Elderberry. <laughs> okay, and now we have reached the Otterbox Foot Figura series. MagSafe compatible. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, look at this. This is sort of like a tie-dye kind of situation. This is like the soft plastic that I was talking about as compared to this. This is hard plastic. You cannot bend this very easily. Whereas with this, you can like bend this very, very easily. Also because it's not transparent, so it doesn't yellow. There's drop protection here, ultra slim, one piece, flexible, soft touch material. Uh, it doesn't really say what kind of material this is, but it feels like it's silicone plastic-ish. This is a pinkish, purplish one, and this is a bluish, greenish, purplish one. Kind of reminds me of the wallpaper on some of the MacBook Pros. Ooh! Okay, okay, this is not news, but as you can tell, only Apple cases like these will have the little MagSafe animation. But this is still MagSafe compatible, just like this. Okay, I feel like this purple pinkish color matches really well with the dark purple iPhone 14. Generally, it's nice, it feels good, but it has a very different quality from the silicone case or the leather case. We have this blue. Okay, wow, it's so easy to put it on. The buttons are also easy to press. That's good. Very, very good. I should change my wallpaper. Ooh, this looks good, doesn't it? Sorry, it's all Spider-Man because like Spider-Man's wallpaper looks the best on the new iOS 16. This looks good. Oh, but this is actually kind of loose. Like, can you see? Like, this thing is so loosely held together. I mean, its flexibility is the selling point, so... Yeah, but I'm not a big fan of how the purple matches with the blue. I feel like this matches with the dark purple better. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot one more thing. This is also from Autobox. This is the black case. Not any special design, just that it's transparent. And it looks like this. And it looks like there's a bit of glittery finish. Oh god, it's hard to slot it in. This is not a flexible case. It doesn't write that it's flexible. Ah! Like, it's hard to put this in. Who is there? Now we understand why Apple has this <laughs> little thing so that it's easier to put a case on. Okay, I'm just gonna force it in and pray that nothing breaks, okay? Okay? Okay! Oh! There we go! There we go! Oh my god! Okay! That took like a good 5 minutes, I feel. Oh, okay. I did not like this case at all. Not at all. So as you can see, the buttons here are quite flushed and they are not very well lifted up. So that means it's quite hard to press the buttons. It's not as defined as, say, the silicone one or the leather ones or even, say, Nomad's one. Nomad's one is so well designed. It's like lifted off the surface so that it's easier to press the buttons, whereas this is not. Yep, just don't like it. But I would have to say, this actually is pretty great. Black and purple really looks good together. It's like, can you see, like this is sort of like a gradient kind of purple. And it's quite pretty, I would say. Like, honestly, if this case were easier to wear, to put on and take off, as well as if the buttons is better, 
this would be a very, very nice case. I would say the design is on point. I don't really like how it feels, this thing, very plastic. I know this is like sort of a bumper, but it makes the phone looks and feel very thick and clunky-ish. Kind of make me miss um, the silicon case or the leather case from Apple. Honestly, I only like how it looks like from the back. The rest, nah. I wouldn't suggest this case at all. Out of box, nah, not this. No hate to auto box whatsoever, um, but not really liking how this feels and how it's built. Oh, it's, it's easier to take out than to put it on. Okay. <laughs> Am I being dramatic when I say it's hard? No, it's really tough to put it in. I'm not even joking. Okay, so here we have all the cases. We unboxed 17 over cases right here. Let me know which is your favorite. Oh, this is a lot of cases. And this is actually not all because like Nomad actually did send some over to me. This is one. These two as well. This is the sports case. This is a rugged case. And this is their very own leather case. And let's compare. I forgot what's it called. Ur Urban. This is Apple's case and this is Nomad's one. Apple's one is a bit lighter than this, but this has drop protection. So that's where the difference is. And one thing that I have to share with you is the quality of the leather and silicone case from Apple. I have a friend who bought the leather case from Apple for their iPhone 12. So that's like two years back. And he said that this part and this part and this part, like the sides here, was scuffed after a year. It peeled off. Basically, it did not last and he suspects it's because of the hot weather we have here in Singapore. I did not actually see how bad it was, but he said it was bad and Apple didn't like, there wasn't any warranty for Apple's leather case. So that is beware if you like leather cases, you probably have to take extra care of it. Uh, maybe get like, oh right! So Nomad actually sent along these leather conditioners, which is awesome for taking care of your leather cases. It helps to clean and rejuvenate your leather. So if you are interested in the longevity of your leather cases, maybe consider stuff like this and I'll leave the links below for you to check out. Okay, so that aside, let's talk about silicone cases now. Well, if you noticed previously when I showed off my iPhone 13 Pro silicone case, this orange, can you see this part? Like this happened and this happened, this like a little scuff here. We have two, all these things happen like maybe two or three months into buying this case, which really suck because Apple has a 14 days return policy. So you cannot actually return this and there's no warranty for this, even though it's like 60, 70 bucks here in Singapore. I don't really use this case unless I'm going out, but yet there are still these little scuffs and this is actually pretty bad. This um, worsened over the months. And it's not only me, my other friend, Kim, who also bought the pink silicone case from Apple, also experienced like scuffs and scratches like weeks after buying her case. So it's pretty bad. And that's actually really surprising because Apple silicone cases are like my favorite and they have not failed me until the 13 series. I do actually have this is the orange one. This was for my 12 Pro Max and it lasted me throughout my entire time of using the 12 Pro Max, which was about one year. And it was fine. I used the silicon case for my iPhone 10 as well and it was fine as well. But when we reached the iPhone 13 cases, the quality just dropped by so much and I'm just, I'm speechless. I don't know why. And right now, my only concern is I don't know if I should continue investing in silicon cases for my iPhone because they really feel very good and I just I just like the color like this color is awesome I'm like I'm like so close to keeping this but because like scuffs like this really suck especially when these phone cases are not cheap <laughs> I don't know what to do <laughs> but comment below if you have experienced something similar I think currently these are the ones that I would pick. But yeah, let me know what are your favorites. I'm still an advocate of going without case, but the leather cases really got me convinced because it's just so light. Like, there's like barely any weight to it, I feel. Like, it's like nothing. 
I like it so much, but I'm really scared that there will be scuffs after a year or so, especially under Singapore's weather. But yeah, let me know case or no case, and if case, which would you go? For? Would you go for the really cheap third-party cases on Amazon, or would you go for these official cases? Everything mentioned will be linked below, so feel free to check it out if you are into any of these colors. I hope you enjoyed this video and this unboxing. More coming up very soon, so stay tuned. Don't go away and subscribe. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys really soon. Take care, stay maintained, cheery. Goodbye.